flight to Zurich will departure in 15 minutes. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to show you my trip to Zurich in Switzerland. The goal was to connect with a competent recruiting agency. Yes, competent, because most of recruiting agencies are not really that great. I traveled with a business partner to discuss a close partnership with the agency. But more on that later. We spent 5 days in Zurich. Most of the days were spent co-working, brainstorming ideas, but also play some Smash Brothers. The meeting with the agency was planned for later today. My business partner went out for another meeting and I still had some work to do. But of course, before we head over to work, we need some coffee. Even though I'm not really a fan of Nespresso machines, they kind of do the job, but I would choose a pour over or French press anytime. I started the workday with a lot of planning for the week. Simple but effective questions like what is the goal of the trip and today's meeting? What is my desired outcome? What do I need to prepare for the meeting? What is a personal goal I have? So for example, the desired outcome would be to establish a relationship with the agency and having the same vision for the project. And the personal goal is recording a day in life in Zurich. Once I got these questions out of my head, I started to work on my new microproduct. I made pretty great progress since the last video. I was able to use Stable Diffusion and Dreamwooth to train a custom model based on only 4 selfie images of myself. And check this out. I can now generate realistic images of myself in different settings. I think you can now guess where this is going. Alright, it's time for lunch and a break. We spent the day before with a few friends in Zurich and they were so nice to give us some slices of pizza. Zurich is pretty expensive, at least compared to Berlin, maybe not to, I don't know, New York City. You can easily spend like $35 per meal here. And leftover pizza is always great. And a lot cheaper. Since I was eating at home, I took the opportunity to catch up with the latest things in tech. Like, for example, Elon suing OpenAI for not being, well, open source, I guess. It is kind of an interesting case. The name kind of implies it, like OpenAI. But with a lot of things, there is no real right or wrong answer here. Well, let's see how this will turn out. I still had some time before I had to go to the meeting, so I catched up with social media, made a post on LinkedIn and X before I head out. Here is a bit of context about the partnership. We want to get a certain audience into tech companies. My business partner is giving courses and lectures in that area. And my partner is providing them with a great resume and finding a match between the talent and the right company. What we need is another partner who is active in that area and can take the talent we have shaped to those companies. I didn't record the meeting since that would have been weird, like, hey, can I record the video for YouTube? I guess they would have let me, but still, would have been weird. The outcome of the meeting was pretty good. They are happy to work with us, but mentioned a few criteria we need to fulfill. The job market is a bit screwed right now. They only wanted to have people with a certain amount of experience. So that means basically no juniors. Kind of a bummer for us, and I guess also for a lot of people out there. What are your thoughts on this? Well, 
Afterwards, I wanted to explore the Rish a bit, because this was the first time for me being here. And also to let my mind wander. As you can see, it rained for like the whole day. But that didn't stop me. I walked around the old town for like 2 hours before I went to a cafe to brainstorm and to answer a few questions that have popped up now. How can we shape the talents we currently have to fit the new criteria? Work experience is definitely one way, but having a great portfolio is another way to show what you are capable of. And I can tell you that multiple days definitely help to find different options and ideas to tackle the new challenge. We still need to figure out what works best and test out the ideas. The goal is to get at least one person hired by the end of the year. This is a long term project, but I will keep you posted. For dinner we head over to a falafel place. The food was really good. Expensive, but really good. And the vibe of the place was awesome. And yes, you read that right, baklava cheesecake. Unfortunately, I was so full I couldn't eat it, but I mean, it can only be delicious, right? Baklava cheesecake? Come on. We went to our Airbnb afterwards and ended the day by playing some Smash Ultimate before we went to sleep. That was a day in Zurich. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. I have another trip planned for next week, so stay tuned and see you in the next one.